Howdy, howdy, cowdies. Weekly walkabout time at the collector. I hope you're good. Don't really care. <laughs> We've been busy. Flat knacker. More cool stuff. Nice sort of mid-century Scandinavian jewellery. A little nice little Jorgen Jensen sort of pendant there which spins around. Nice little sterling silver Oxford versus Cambridge 1957 dish. Some nice couple of little pairs of cufflinks, shell, um, oil and the Pegasus uh, plume, mobile oil, vacuum oil, whatever you want to call it. Little nice little bits of Hallmark silver, some gents sort of 70s automatic watches, old sort of pocket calculator type thing. Heaps, that bag over the back's full of all sort of ANSET, ANA and other sort of Australian airline cufflinks and badges and pins and things. Game and watches, but they've got bloody no battery covers, unfortunately. Nice little tins and boxes. Sort of World War II trench arty sort of sweetheart stuff. Uh, Pandora silver. Some nice old footy and cricket cards in there. Yes, we've got Air Force stuff. Mixed lots of stuff. Silver spoons. Yeah, some nice little bits in the jewellery cabinet. Kind of like this little cedar converted commode. Kind of cool. Little Art Deco grandmother clock. Just missing a pendulum, but you can find something. Chuck in there. Kind of like the old trunk. He's kind of cool. What else have we got? Coins and commemorative stuff. This is all sort of military badges and paperwork, key rings, blokey gear, ladies bag, some nice watches, little lots of sort of badges and pins and some silver and stuff. What else have we got? Big lots of tools down underneath, china and stuff, little Mordaunt short subwoofer speaker setup, little box of bits and bobs, box of records. That's we've got an old Commodore, Commodore 1802 computer monitor. We've put it with some old sort of Commodore games and other sort of computer stuff in amongst the box. Uh, what else have we got? Some nice pretty china, some nice old sort of Art Nouveau curtains and stuff. Record storage boxes are pretty cool. Old skateboards down the bottom there. What else have we got? Some cool clothes. Collingwood footy jumper. Some old sort of robes. This one's pretty cool with the heffalumps on it. Uh, navy coats, jackets. There's a pair of pants in there as well. Some furs. Sports stuff. Really nice sort of World War II navy trench coat. He's a ripper. Some sort of Victorian-y type sort of 1920s gear. Cool old motorbike jacket. This is cool. Pilot sort of coverall flight suit. All that sort of C-130 and F-5E. Things and stuff sort of sewn onto it. Traron 26, which is a, I think, a training squadron. Yeah, good thing. What else have we got? Boxes of stuff, more stuff, and some things. <laughs> good quality pair of Kenwood speakers. Nice big lot of fishing gear with some rods. What else have we got? Mixed lots of stuff, cassettes and records and tapes. Big lot of linen and gear, lamps and lighting, bottles, china, darkness, boxes of books, nice little 1930s oak secretaire, he's pretty cool, little steady bump and skateboard, uh, which were an Australian company from what I know, it's got good quality indie trucks on it, it's in the auction this week. I've been practicing me ollies on it. <laughs> Pram and a doll. Flat screen TV guitar. A big lathe and heaps of tools and stuff to go with it. What else have we got? Trays, things, tables. Those two. <laughs> big green bottle and some metal stuff. Nice big collection of lights. Bench grinder. Boxes. Records. A dog, a wheelbarrow, nice big lot of pictures, good lot of audio visual gear, good linear design turntable, these are nice, the banquet lamps, good quality Sansui turntable, 
and a really good quality sand suey receiver. Thing weighs an absolute ton. Silent Butler is pretty cool. Little repop spotty's all right. Some nice linen and stuff. Leather jackets. Brock off. What else have we got? Books and ephemera. Enid Blyton. SO Servo. Records. Pretty good little Nord Mende sort of boom box. Group lots of China and stuff. EPS, Oz Pottery. Other gear. Good little lot of cassettes. The doors. Akadaka. What else have we got? Guns and Roses. Silver Chair. Pink Floyd. Tools and things. What's up there? Oh, a box of footy stuff. What's in there? A box of books. Let's put them down there and we can actually see them. Tools. These are cool. The one hour parking signs. They fit perfectly over the top of the other ones. Not giving anybody any ideas. Big world of PlayStation 2 games. A couple of PS3 ones in there too. Here's a nice little sort of outdoor bench. Coloured sort of slap work top on it. Some nice paintings this week. Warren Curry. J.W. Roach. This is a funny little thing. A little silver uh, etching or something. Silver point etching, I think it is, on the back. Uh, what else have we got? Robert Lidicum oil. British school thing. I really like this. The Andrew Harris. I'll take it out and show you guys. There is a cracker. 1965, The Point of No Return, also titled Iceberg on the Back. I really like it. Good painter, good thing. All right, what else have we got? More nice big pictures. This is a nice little Raymond Wallace oil painting, little coastal scene. It might be sort of um, Arthur's seat looking back towards Mount Martha or something like that. There's no title on it. Some 70s gear. Oh, textures are pretty cool. What else have we got? Big lot of records, some heads. Anita! Yep. More lots of stuff, records, good china. Buick 77 car catalogue. Funny little lot of obscure singles. Nice little Indian painting. A couple of good records. Yes, we've got some interesting old stickers. Comedy records, china. Stamps. Cassettes and sort of records and a nice little radio. These are all sort of vibrating massages and other things, plus a sex kit, which apparently doesn't work. The vendor told us. <laughs> Mulgawood and some other stuff. Obscure records, 74 Buick catalogue. Beatles album and a book. Nice little lot of sort of blokey tins and things. Radio, the little mouse clock. Oh, he's so bad, he's good. And one of his ears is broken off, unfortunately, but he's been glued back on. We like him. Rolls-Royce catalogue. I like this little guy. You pull the string and he sort of jumps up and down and stuff. He is great. Little wooden toy jester. Tex Perkins and his Lady Boys band, signed by the gang. Uh, more sort of blokey gear. Little shell motoring tour booklets, a ripper. Big bit of glass, oriental stuff. EP and S, there's a couple of bits of sterling in there as well. She's lovely big jardinier. It's a shame there's a crack in the back of her though. Uh, nice little English china, some cool toys in amongst here. Australian other pottery, blue and white. Lovely lot of sort of cutlery and stuff, box sets in amongst. Some toys, some more stickers. Fantastic big bloody, what's this British repair manual? Huge thing. I don't think that's the pocket edition. <laughs> More boxes and stuff. Here's a nice little ring box underneath. Some nice little clocks and tranny radios. Serial toys and things. Nice stamps in the album. Another nice little group lot here. Lovely old piano sconce. Some interesting old stickers. Eureka Ballarat. Sort of 1990s, 80s, 90s things. Um, Emile Bear. Good little lot of kitchen out here. And some nice little, little Art Deco belt buckley things. Clarinet. Um, the War Illustrated, nice big China dinner set. What else have we got? Nice little collection of art glass. Buchanan, I think, um, tin. Nice little cigarette dispenser. Old group photograph, military. A little up the top there of Australian and other pottery. 
uh, the clock, a couple of nice little bits of Beswick here. And to the end, Kevin, we've got some great stuff. This is a 1990s reissue of a St Kilda Wegg poster from the 66 Grand Final. Music Maker Magazines, Australia's greatest music paper. There you go, and you've got Tempo Magazines as well. Fantastic album full of swap cards. There's some amazing stuff in there. A pair of World War II pilot's gloves. This is pretty cool. A little deco radio that someone's put new workings inside, but the case looks to be good. Amazing, I think it's red tulip hat shaped chocolate box. Love little inlaid Victorian box. Some Gove bike stickers from Ballarat. Jewelry. Uh, pilot sort of calculating machines. We've got some more of them as well. This is a great little one here. Little sort of pilot's computer. ICAN calibration. There you go, it's got all the sort of jazz inside. You turn the little bloody knob and off it goes racing. Got the original little pencil still attached. Here's a ripper. Got a nice pair of pilot's goggles there, World War II, with a little sort of tube to go with it, communication tube. Uh, manual of air navigation with another little sort of compass calculator thing. There's another one here as well. Paris Art. Robo teapot. And some nice little sort of Dalton Robin Hood jugs and stuff like that as well. Some nice things this week, guys. World War II pilot stuff's pretty cool. Hopefully we'll see you on Thursday night. Be another good fun little sale.